begin tomorrow morning with ASB Business. He is called the Caveman, but he's a world leader when it comes to eco-tourism. American sea kayaker Don, John Gray has been hosting award-winning tours of southern Thailand sea caves near Phuket for almost 20 years now. John says he aims for zero negative impact on the local people and the environment, and he joins me this morning. John, good morning to you. Good morning. How are you doing? Uh, very well, thank you. You've been doing this for a long time. What took you to Thailand in the first place? Uh, well, I actually started in Hawaii in 1983, and uh, as soon as we got Hawaii locked into environmental law, uh, I decided to come to Southeast Asia because that's really where we're going to win or lose the planet. And there was very little environmental awareness when I went to Thailand in 1989. Still, it's been a struggle as after 18 yeah. years. Arguably, yeah. though, to be fair, there was very little environmental awareness on a broad scale at that time anyway. I mean, you were a, you were a leader in, in the idea of ecotourism, weren't you? Uh, yes, I was actually born into the environmental movement. My folks were in the Sierra Club and met on a mountain climbing expedition uh, in the late 30s. So I was, I was born into ecotourism, you could say. And... Uh, we traveled in a very unique way when I was a child. So it's just so an that was the inspiration. Of my childhood, yeah, sure. You have yeah. been phenomenally successful. I mean, you take people into these amazing, these amazing caves. Um, the scenery is truly pristine. But ironically, there is a twist there, isn't there? Because you're taking thousands of people into these hidden areas every year. There can't, there can't help but be an impact on those areas, can there? Well, that's true. We have 18 competitors. And. Uh, we're the only ones that really do it right. The other guys are just in it for the bucks. So they're following so, on your coattails, really. Yeah, yeah. So, so they're, they're following on from your success in ecotourism are others who are not so careful. Yeah, yeah. And we're actually the smallest of all the companies because I'm a real advocate of uh, low volume, high quality. And they just take a lot of people in. So the, the impact comes from the high volume and uh, untrained staff. Our, our staff is really the key. So uh, we've got guys with us for uh, uh, 17 of the 18 years I've been there. My original hire from 19, 1990 is still with the company. Which is incredible, isn't it? Yeah. And yeah. interestingly enough, when people think of ecotourism now, they're thinking about harm to the environment. And you factor into that the communities that live there. In fact, that's almost one of the most important things for you, isn't it? You don't want to destabilize the communities, the local communities in the area. No, you want to... What we're trying to do is create an economy for local people. And uh, the, the basis of that is uh, when people have an economic interest, they're going to protect the environment. And we still do a pretty good job with it. Uh, uh, the staff of the other companies, they say, hey, if I hadn't come there, they wouldn't have a job. So, and we did create about 2,000 jobs, including the, the cooks, the van drivers, the, the guides, is it yeah. hard to protect, though, because you're effectively going into communities? It's like talking about your competitors. You're going into communities, showing them a way of making unimaginable wealth and showing them the right way to do it. But are there not a lot of people there who would try and skew that to the wrong way so that they can make even more money? Oh, sure, the owners. <laughs> so the, uh, a lot of the owners do that. And uh, I've never seen another owner or manager of our competition in the Bay. So none of them are real kayakers. Yeah, they don't yeah. have any interest in the environment. They're just saying, oh, hey, John Gray came up with this good idea and we can capitalize on it. So. You, you're probably one of the only tourism operators in the world that pressures the government to try and put further sanctions on and tighter, tighter restrictions. Absolutely, yeah. And that's one thing uh, that the other guys don't go along with. They like mm. laissez-faire economics. I'm sure. And, and, uh, but our guys are trained to international standard. They can actually swim, for one thing. <laughs> and then they're trained in lifeguarding and first aid. If you go on our website, we actually put our first aid training on the website because everybody else just goes out and buys Well, and these are potentially dangerous places, too, that you're taking oh, yeah, people into. Oh, sure, yeah, Very quickly, you've come to New Zealand to address the World Congress on Marine Affairs. Yeah. Now, we are world leaders in marine reserves. How well do you think we are doing? Spot on. You're great. New Zealand is one of the major ecotourism destinations in the world, and your, your natural beauty is legendary. So uh, all the planes are full. I know how it is to, the key to get is on just a flight. To look after you know? <laughs> yeah, the key yeah. is just to look after it. John, what is your website? Uh, www.johngray, with an A, hyphen, seacanoe.com. All right. Well, we will have that link on our website, too. Thank you very much for joining us. Oh, okay, thanks a lot. John Gray. Yeah.
You should go first. Yes, um, John Gray, who you spoke to earlier, lovely American man who's now uh, working in Thailand. Uh, we hear from Linda. Linda says, it was nice to see John Gray on your show. My husband and I went to his cave trip from Phuket and had a terrific experience. You could tell that all the staff were well trained and we clearly made as little impact on the area as possible, unlike the other tour groups who were romping mm. around noisily and foolishly. Fantastic. And that was really his point, wasn't it? That um, you have to respect the area you're in and you've got to train your staff well. Ironically, though, it's his success that has led to, to those everybody other, else other jumping on board. Um, what is wrong with everyone?